Well, around here, we've all heard of street tacos, but today we're putting a different spin on street food. Eric Justice is the executive chef of Payway and P.F. Chang's, and he's here to show us some street cart cuisine, Thai style, basically. Yes, absolutely. Hey, welcome to the show. Thank you. It's I'm good glad to see you're back again. in the kitchen yeah. with me. Yeah, got some fun stuff. Uh, you know, we're featuring three dishes today on the show that we don't serve at Payway, uh -huh. but you can learn to make them at our live cooking demo tonight on live stream. You oh, okay. can get the link on our Facebook page or payway.com. Is that something new that you've started? Uh, we've only done it one other time. But Did it's it work? A yeah, it's a okay. really cool way for us to, instead of just a couple of segments, just really get in there and show them the depth of the dish I and, love and what it. we do. So I it's, a great, it. it's a great way to, to learn how to make some of this stuff. And we thought, you know, it's a nice time to do some dishes that, we, that you can't get in the restaurant that, you know, so you but can learn a little bit. the same kind bit. of flavors Absolutely. And, and, and style. Absolutely. Much like dishes we would serve, but we just don't serve today. So the first dish is called cow soy, and it's a northern style uh, uh, curry dish. Mm -hmm. um, very different. I like to do cow soy because it's uh, from northern Thailand versus the south, where most of the dishes in Thai restaurants you see. And so uh -huh. one of the fun things about it, it's very aromatic. You can smell the lemongrass, fresh oh, like turmeric, instead of using dried turmeric and garlic in there. So we're going to start with that. We're just going to let those aromatics come out, and you can really smell this. Do we have, to have a wok, or could we use a no, skillet? No, this is the one dish out of the three that you could really use a, uh, a sauce pot in, which okay. is what I like about it. I'm going to use it in a wok just because that's what I got. And most people just use one type of curry paste, but I use two. I use a masamon curry and a red curry because I just like the blend of uh, Does those it make two it flavors. Spicier or just more uh, enhanced? Uh, just a deeper flavor. A bolder flavor. The red mm -hmm. is the spicier one of the two, and the masamon is not necessarily. We're going to add palm sugar instead of regular sugar because I like it. It's a little more mellow flavor versus a brown or a white sugar okay. and then so once you get those melted a little bit then you're just going to add all your your uh, other liquids which we got a little bit of fish sauce which is very typical in Thai cuisine mm -hmm. um, I had a little bit of chicken stock in there and then we're going to add our coconut milk so now that's a kind of a staple in a lot of the Thai dishes right that coconut yeah milk. lots of coconut around so they find all kinds of ways Way to, to use, use it. it yep so just for speed purposes we we went ahead and cooked our uh, our shrimp and chicken up in there. And then we're going to do another aromatic thing. We're going to add some fresh Thai basil and lime leaves. It's called a sweet lime leaf. You can smell that. Just really aromatic. Oh, yes. And fun, beautiful uh, smell to that. Can we find that. that in the grocery store? Is that going to be Asian grocery stores, okay. like a Ranch 99 or Lily's, you'll find that. So we'll add that to it. We'll add our chicken. Normally, I would simmer this for probably five to ten minutes with just the aromatics in there and let those flavors steep and then and then add my protein to it. And, and you're just going to add that protein until it just cooks. And so while that's cooking, we'll talk about the base of the thing. We have a fettuccine-style Chinese noodle, so mm -hmm. a wheat-style noodle. If you can't find the thicker one, you know, any thin one will work as well. And we just blanch those ahead of time, and you would, you know, put those in the bowls and, and serve those out. And then once this comes to a boil and the protein's done, we're just going to serve it right over the top. And then for a little bit of fun, which is typical, you take the raw noodle, not uh, completely cooked, and throw a batch of it in uh, fry oil, right. and it, it gives you a really uh, fun, crispy texture. So it's the same noodle on the bottom and the top, just two different styles of textures, which is really fun. Now back to this sauce. If we were to let it, you know, kind of sit and... and I don't know. Steep. Steep, yeah. whatever. Flavor. The aromatics yeah. set in, flavor. I think, as you said. Absolutely. We, we would be looking for about five minutes, you said? Yeah, it's really quick. We don't want to bring it to a boil, though. Just a low, low simmer. And that's the fun part about this dish is once everything's cut up, it's 15 minutes, and all of a sudden you have this really amazing, authentic dish that, mm -hmm. that's easy to serve because, you know, your, your noodles would already be sort of done ahead of time. So all, once you have it cook you set it on the, on, the, on the stove and have it on low, and then all you're doing really is, like we'll do here, I'm seeing some of the the color of the paste is actually infusing yeah. into the coconut. Yeah. Now milk. instead of instead of white, you see once that melts in there, it really gets this rich sort of brown color in there. And then you know when you're ready to serve, you just pull out pull out your leaves. Um, we don't really have to do that because we're just going to do part of that. Pull out the leaves, and we're going to pour that right over the top oh, of yeah. that. And I like mine a little spicier, so I yeah, tend I think to you and add. I, share that. I know. <laughs> <In> common. <laughs> I'm from Texas, right? So I know you can't get we, out. We uh, I, I add a little fresh lime juice in there because that really gives it an aromatic kick and I like to add a little fresh uh, chilies. Those aren't super hot. You can add Thai chilies if you like which will be you know definitely add a little more heat but you know a little Eric, fresh you make cilantro. It look so easy. My goodness. Well it's all in the pre-work. <laughs> if you get everything done yeah, sort of ahead of time then these dishes really come out You know great. what great tip. You, get, you can do that in the morning when you come home you know after the day with the kids or you know at the Absolutely. Office. So we'll it's show you how to make it tonight. Uh, it's 6 p.m. Uh, Phoenix time, and we also have a great big announcement to make at the end of the show, so you'll want to make sure and, really? and watch that. Everybody's eating at Payway all year long for the rest of the year for free. 
Well, that's it not involves quite it. adventure. <laughs> it does involve a lot of eating. All right. And some adventure and a few I other cool I cannot wait. Things. Yeah. Maybe you give me a little. Uh, I'll tell you off the air. Yeah, okay. That. And then I'll tell you. No, I won't. Thanks, Eric. We're going to check in with you just a little bit um, to do a little bit more cooking Thai style.